So students, we are about to review our lesson. Start from the beginning. Force. Students, as you all know now, that what is force? Force is a push or pull. Anything which makes move just because of pushing and pulling to work. Even if you have an example of a trolley, a nutcracker, and an aeroplane, these all involve some kind of a movement and some kind of a push or pull. Some kind of force is exerted on the object that moves. We cannot see forces, but we often come across the use of force in our daily lives. So what can force do? Force cannot be seen as you know that. We just observe it feels. Force can make objects move faster or slower or stop them altogether. And now, what is machines? Student, anything that makes our work easier is a name as machine, which is a man-made device. They are everywhere at home, at work, on roads, in the sea, and the, the bicycle, a car, and an airplane are all machines. We use machines at home as a sewing machine, washing machine, clock, blender, juicer, so many machines sold together in our homes and make our work easier. Students, we already have one activity which is uh, which was on your book page number 86. Here I just change some values. And this question is a sports car travels at a speed of 200 km per hour. Here we need to calculate how far means we need to calculate the distance. So for that students, as you know that, as we know that, Distance traveled is equals to speed multiplied by time. So we're just making a squeeze our formula like t is equals to s multiplied by t. Here s is equals to 200 and distance or time is equals to 4. So we are here to about to put the values of speed and time. Speed is equals to 200 kilometer and kilometer per hour. And time is equals to 4 hours. So just putting the value and after that, solve it. So 200 multiplied by 4, it is 800 kilometer. So that is the distance we find out from our formula. That is distance travel is equals to speed multiplied by time. Again, for part B, I change the values from the book. A sports car travels at a speed of 200 km per hour. Now, how long? That how long means now we are about to use the formula for time. So, time is equal to distance divided by speed. Students, you can squeeze by a symbol that T represents time, D represents distance, and S represents speed. So, here we have distance and speed. Distance given as 600 km and speed given as 200 km per hour. So just put in the values and then solve it. So time is equal to 3 hours. I hope that you understood to practice over it students. It's very important a part, part of our lesson in number 11, force and machines. 
Now it comes to kinds of machine. Students, as you know that before that we need to know about machines need energy. All machines need energy to turn the moving parts inside them. Energy enables the machine to do useful work. All machines need a steady supply of energy to keep them working. Even our bodies like just behave like a machine. We are eating food to get energy from that food and our body starts working. Now, here we have force can act on object from a distance. Students, as you know that, do you remember from unit number seven? We are placing the magnet near to some pins which is made up of a steel, right? So we will see the pins jump and stick to the magnet. This happens? Yes, we practically did, did this experiment in the classroom as well. So what causes these pins to jump? Yes, it's a magnetic force, right? Similarly, a coin falls to the ground because the force of gravity is acting on it. Yes, now, because if you are just uh, flip the coin upside, it comes to the ground. And similarly for the ball. So, we can see that force can also act on object from a distance. Okay, either it is a gravitational force, either it is a magnetic force. So force is also act from a distance. It doesn't necessarily that we are just pushing or pulling it. Okay, force, some forces are act from the distance. The examples are magnetic force and gravitational force. Now it comes to kinds of simple machines. Students, it's a very simple machine. You can even notice what actually the simple machine are doing that they are using the scissor for cutting the paper, right? So what is this? That is a simple machine that make our work easier. That by using from our hands and just because of that hand force, hand movement that helps you to do work more easier, in a more easier manner. So many simple machines are all around us. Even a lid opener. Can you see this? If you are using, how, how can you open this lid? It's a very simple thing. You are using the spoon and that is going to open the lid of a can. The spoon is acting as a simple machine. That is called liver. If you try to open a tin can with your fingers, you will have to apply a lot of force, right? A spoon acting as a liver makes your work easier. A liver has an arm that can turn on a point called a circle. It also behave like you can see a seesaw. Can you see the seesaw? Yeah, this is the fulcrum. Okay, can you see this? When you fit, when you fit on edge of the spoon or a board under the yes that this is the edge okay when you are just fixing it okay that is behave like a liver okay so what actually is that a liver has an arm that can turn on a point called fulcura this is fulcura when you fit one edge of the particular thing the edge of the can is a fulcura so the downward force of anything that is effort and upward force is a load okay a seesaw this one a wheelbarrow or a pair of scissor these are all examples of livers liver system in our bodies students there are many liver system in our bodies too the elbow and ankle joints are two examples. In the elbow, the joint acts as a fulcrum and the weight of the forearm and the object held by the forearm act as a load. The effort is applied by two muscles in the upper arm. As you know that, that force always work in pairs. Action and Reaction work in opposite directions. The principle is used in space rockets and jet planes. 
their engine expel hot gases and the reaction pushes them in the opposite direction. Muscles also work in pairs. When one muscle contracts, the other relaxes. With the help of these muscles, we can move arm, legs easily. Pulley. A pulley is a simple machine which is made up of wheel. Uh, the wheel of a pulley turn on an axle. There is a groove around the rim of the pulley which holds a rope. When the rope is pulled, when the rope is pulled, the pulley lifts the heavy loads. So that will be all for today's students. Now we comes to the today's work. Today's work is question answer. Answer the following question. Question number one, part A. What is a force? Force is a push or pull. List some of the things force can do at home. You have to list some of the things. So force can make objects move faster or slower or stop and can change shape of them. You can make it in list also that part one. Force can make objects move faster than two. Force can make objects move slower. Force can stop object and force can change the shape of them. It is totally up to you. Now C part. Which force causes objects to fall to the ground when they are thrown up in the air? So which force is students? It's the force of gravity. What it is? Force of gravity cause objects to fall to the ground. Now D part. Students, D part is about name of some machines that we use at home, in the office or on the road. So at home, we are using mixer, juicer, blender, iron, so many other things you can write. In office, computer, stapler, printer, on the road, car, cycle, uh, bikes, other things you can write as well. Now, e, what do machines need in order to work? Students, a machine needs energy to do work. Energy can be in any form. Now, F, this, how does a simple machine help to make work easier? Students, a simple machine helps to make our work easier by turning the force of the hand into a form of movement that helps us to do work. Describe how a pulley works. A pulley is a simple machine which is made up of wheels. The wheel of a pulley turns on an axle. There is a groove around the rim of the pulley which, which a rope. When the rope is pulled, the pulley can lift a heavy load attached to the end of the rope. That will be all for today's students. Don't forget to wash your hands on a very nice and bless these students. Love is to everyone.